Hello, welcome to C version 6 feature, part 6, expression bodied function and property, brought to you by Anchor Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn uh, the expression bodied function and property feature which is present in C -sharp version 6 and right now we'll understand it. Expression bodied function is one of the key feature which is present in C -sharp version 6 and let us understand uh, in C -sharp version 5 if you want to define the function what we'll do is we'll define it with the proper name followed by the statement block, statement block and within that block we used to write the logic but in the C -sharp version 6 uh, that's been reduced. How? With the help of lambda expression. Let us understand it very clearly. Let us jump into an image where how do we write a function, define a function C sharp version 5. It is in this manner. For example, here we are having a function called get name. How do we define it? We define it with access modifier, the static keyword and the return and the return type of that method is string. And within the statement this block, uh, we will write the logic. What is the logic we are written here? It is returning the current date and time. That's all. We are using a date time class and we are uh, returning back the date, uh, we are returning back the time the, uh, with the minute and the seconds. And that's what this program and this method is doing. And in the main method, we call that method, we call the get time method such that it executes on the console screen. And coming to C sharp version 6, uh, how this pin reduce, how this pin reduce in the sense, how the function is being defined here with the help of statement block and that can be completely reduced by using this operator that is goes to operator that is lambda expression and what we are doing here is we are telling like public static string get time and no statement no brackets no curly braces specified without that we are using this goes to operator and we are writing the logic here this is very simple and right now we'll jump into visual studio and we'll explore it now let me define a function public static string and the method name is get time okay this is normal way how do we define a function since it is returning string I have to use return keyword return uh, the current time current time okay what is the current time if you want to use date time dot now dot to string we are converting into the string and we are returning it it we want it in the format uh, format of hour first then minute then second and this is how we'll define the get time method and it's going to return the current date current time sorry and now uh, let me call that method get time and let me print let me run this program when I do that what is the output I'll get I'll get the current time the current time is 1 <coughs> it's 1 o'clock 25 minutes and 30 seconds and now what I'll do is this is how we'll define the function C sharp version 5 but coming to C sharp version 6 we'll make use of the operator that is goes to operator with the use of this operator what's been reduced the work of this function is reduced instead of uh, defining the function the logic within the statement block what I'll do is I'll just remove this and I'll remove this also I'll run this also instead of that let me use the goes to operator here and let me push it there that's all we have to do and I have to remove this return keyword okay now now see how the uh, work of defining a function has been reduced with the help of this goes to operator that is what we call as expression bodied function and property this is the wonderful feature which is present in C sharp version 6 now let me run the program it will provide the output as expected the current time is 1, one o'clock 26 minutes and 32 seconds and that's what we learnt in this session and let's jump back to presentation here you can observe the code in C sharp version 5 how do we write it and here we defined a method with a statement block and write the logic here and coming to C sharp version 6 the, there is no statement blocks uh, defined likely we are using operator goes to operator then we are specifying the logic there that's it and this is what about the expression bodied function property feature and finally thank you for listening have a great day and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and pro training and you can like our facebook page uh, www.facebook.com.ankpro 
slash tank pro training visiting this url and we are also on twitter and for further references you can refer the website and we are on linkedin too and don't forget to give the feedback thank you have a great day